In this lesson, we will take an introductory look at solving word problems. Now, the steps involved in solving word problems are pretty much the same for most questions. The first step is to make sure that you fully understand the question and any restrictions that may apply. For the questions shown here, we are given information about the present ages of Sue and Marco, and we are given information about their ages in the future. Our goal is to determine Sue's present age. Now, in addition to understanding the question, we should also identify any restrictions. For example, in this particular question, the ages must be positive numbers. For other questions, it could be implied that the numbers involved are all integers. For example, if a question tells us about a population of bears, we can assume that the number of bears is an integer, a positive integer. Now, the next step you should always consider is testing the answer choices. After all, one of the five answer choices is the correct answer, and in some cases, testing the answers will be the fastest approach. Also, if you decide to solve the question algebraically, keep in mind that testing the answer choices could be a potential backup strategy. Now, if you choose to solve a question algebraically, the next step is to assign variables. For this particular question, we might assign the following variables to the ages of Sue and Marco. Now, for the time being, do not worry about how and why we assigned these variables. We will study this in future lessons. Just know that assigning variables is one step to solving word problems algebraically. Okay, once we have assigned variables, our goal is to write an equation. For this particular question, one possible equation is as follows, and in a future lesson, we will examine how we derive this. Once we have written an equation, our next step is to solve the equation if necessary. I say if necessary because if the question is a data sufficiency question, we may not have to solve the equation. Now, once we solve the equation, it's important that we do not instantly begin looking for the value among the answer choices and then select it. Before selecting any answer choices, we should first reread the question and confirm that we have found the required value. In this question, we are asked to find Sue's age, but the equation was written in terms of M, and M represents Marco's present age. Since Sue's present age is equal to M plus 8, and we now know that M equals 4, we can conclude that Sue's present age is 12, which means the answer here is C. Okay, let's summarize. In this lesson, we learned some steps to consider when tackling word problems. In the upcoming lessons, we will examine most of these steps in greater detail.